Pre-dawn sky lit up as Russian rockets fall in Chasiv Yar, an apartment block torn apart. Rescue workers know the timing of the attack means most people would have been in bed. So they're moving debris by hand, tunnelling down, trying to find anyone still trapped in the building. What have we done to them? What have our people done to hurt them? There was darkness and then it all started. Locals could only look on helpless as the search continued for neighbours, friends, relatives. We ran to the basement. There were three hits. The first somewhere in the kitchen. The second, I don't even remember. There was lightning. We ran towards the second entrance and then straight into the basement. We sat there all night until this morning. The local governor says there may be many more people trapped in the rubble. Heavy lifting gear is on standby. Again, we have one more confirmation of war crimes by the Russian Federation. They are targeting civilians everywhere, towns, villages and cities. It doesn't matter if they are on the front line or somewhere else. The president's chief of staff called it another terrorist attack by a terrorist country and he demanded governments act to declare Russia a state sponsor of terrorism. The Russians have repeatedly denied they target civilians. Two US senators have pushed the idea of designating Russia a state sponsor of terrorism and they believe they could get almost unanimous support for it in the US Senate. That would put Russia in the same category as North Korea, Iran and Syria, and a vote could follow in coming days. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Kyiv.